Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are the Burn Brothers. My name is Gavin. I'm Jeff. Today we are reviewing the 2016 Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Yeah, so it's the annual release from Buffalo Trace that everyone is looking for. Um, you know, it's, it's highly allocated, highly sought after, secondary markets are exploding, um, and the uh, 2016 release features the same five that has featured for the last uh, several years, uh, three bourbons, two ryes. Similar to last year, we'll be reviewing each of these individually, then giving you our uh, ranking total at the end. Um, so, Jeff, let's jump right into it. We'll start with the uh, rye. So, Sazerac 18 is an 18-year-old rye whiskey, bottled at 90 proof. Jeff, on the nose, what do we got? Good bit of mint comes off the yeah. nose uh, initially. This is loaded with just kind of like a, a pine tree and like herbalness to it. Yeah, good bit of good bit of herbalness there. Yeah, the nose is nice, and for 90 proof, it's it's very bold on the yeah. nose. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness there, like, you know, some barrel, sure. character, barrel characteristics. Well, here, let's go ahead and take a taste. Cheers. Cheers. This has a very loud profile, Jeff. Um, similar to the nose, getting tons of herbalness, lots of grass up front, lots of mint, too. Yeah, and then it, then it becomes very spicy. Mm -hmm. One of the more spicy ryes, probably. Sure. had in a while and especially compared to other releases of the Sazerac 18 I think this is much spicier yes this is definitely expressing itself with a lot of um, like allspice a lot of pepper spice that's a, a nice rye whiskey for sure mm -hmm. that 18 years I think is you know evident based on the amount of like oak we're getting as well yeah it's There's fairly oaky whiskey yeah healthy dose of the oak in there um, I like the I like the spiciness of it yes um, you know, this is the first, um, this is the new batch, I guess, of Sazerac 18 from previous years. It's all been um, taken from one big steel vat. So this is a new um, non-vatted uh, Sazerac 18. And going forward, it'll just be, you know, whiskey that's been aging in the warehouse for 18 years. So, um, Jeff, how do you think this compares to, like, you know, the previous expressions for the last few years that we've been used to? Yeah, I mean, last year's was very good. I think this is, has a little more dimension to it than other years. Yeah. Like, last year's was very creamy minty, a little bit of chocolate. This, I think the spiciness, I think, um, this is a has a different yeah. different sort of characteristic to it. I think this is definitely a little bit sharper. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I think I prefer the batted expression. Um, this is still a very nice expression. So, you know, um, hopefully we'll see how the others line up. Yeah. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and we'll jump right into Tom Sage Handy. Yes. Thomas Handy was a famous bartender from New Orleans, and this uh, younger uh, barrel-proof rye pays homage to him. Yes, this is uh, six years old and bottled at 126.2 proof, I believe, Jeff. So let's go ahead and take a nose. It's the first thing I'm getting is a very chewy caramel with some subtle vanilla. Yeah, uh, a little bit of spice in there, yeah. um, not nearly as much as the, the Sazerac 18. Um, more of a bourbon nose on it almost. Yeah. You get a little more a little more of the sweetness, less of the traditional Yeah, rye less of the notes. herbalness to it here, and not too much mint on the nose, yeah. so we'll see if we can get any of that on the taste. Let's go ahead. Cheers. Cheers. Jeff, this is really a tart expression of Thomas H. Handy. It's kind of got like a varnished vanilla going on. A little bit of that spice kind of grows. Got some leather in there too. Um, I would almost, the mouth feels kind of watery. For 126 sure. uh, plus proof, it's, it's, you know, I would expect a little bit more out of it. Yeah, it's not honest. quite chewy, but you are getting a good bit of heat in the chest here. I'm also getting notes of like some subtle cinnamon with a fair bit of toffee as well. So um, I was a little disappointed for me personally from uh, previous expressions, but um, you know, it's sweet, it's spicy. It's your standard younger barrel proof rye from Buffalo Trace. Yeah, and um, yeah, I think even less so than other releases of this, it, it's a little less rye too. I think sure. It, yeah. it, it's sort of in that middle between rye and bourbon a little bit. You know, a good bit of sweet notes, a little bit of spiciness, not really minty or herbally, it's, you know, hints of it, but... Yeah. And the finish for 126 proof is just a little 
uh, quick for me, I think. Um, yeah, leave a little bit to be desired. Yeah, I thought this had I had a longer finish, and this is 30 proof higher, so um, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and move on to the Eagle Rare 17. Um, as we all know and love, 17 years old and bottled at 90 proof. Let's go ahead and take a nose. Just getting lots of tobacco and vanilla up front on the nose, Jeff. Yeah, this is the uh, sort of the granddaddy of the uh, of the collection. You know, yeah. older, more oaky, more leathery, tobacco-y. Getting a good bit of citrus on the nose as well. Yeah. Okay, let's take a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Getting a lot of wood tannins on the palate. Some of that like vanilla is expressing itself as well. Yeah, it used to be a bit of char and oakiness. Um, and this has sort of always been my stepping point with me for this particular bottling is it's just almost too oaky for me. Sure. Too, you know, too much tannin, too much char. Yeah. It sort of detracts from the other flavors there. Yeah, you know, I think it's a longer finish. Um, bottled at 90 proof, but it's still a very long finish. And I think that finish expresses ex Self with just a lot of char, a lot of leather, and some tobacco as well. So, more of a one-dimensional type of bourbon. Yeah, um, yeah. Not very spicy at all. Not extremely sweet at all. Just a lot of that oak. Yeah. The oak, a little bit of a little bit of sweetness. That's really about what you're getting there. Unfortunately, sure. out of this guy. All right. Well, we will go ahead and jump right to Wollum the Rue Weller. This is the weeded bourbon of the antique collection. I mean, Jeff, this is kind of like your typical Buffalo Trace weeder. It's just lots of red hots on the nose, lots of cinnamon, uh, very strong nose. This one is, um, I do believe, 12 years, three months old, and bottled at 135.4 uh, proof. So very heavy on the proof here. A little bit of a step up compared to the, the, yeah. the first three we've reviewed. Yes, uh, absolutely. You know. Lots of tobacco, tobacco on the nose as well. Yeah, tobacco, a little bit of some sweet weed in there. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a really nice nose. Um, just kind of what we expect from yeah. the Rue Weller. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, that's WLW right there. It's very sweet up front. That sweet spice, a nice bit of fudge on the palate as well. Yeah, some vanilla, um, decent bit of heat. Sure. It, uh, it'll stick with you. You know, not our first, uh, you know, 135 plus proof, but yeah. this one's got, uh, got some oomph to it. Yeah, I feel like there's a nice crescendo with the heat. You know, it starts off with that really heavy sweetness and then the cinnamon and the spice and then the heat just kind of grow and then it kind of mellows out. Um, yeah. For a very long finish, to be honest, just oh. lots of yeah. That sweet wheat, that sweet spice, and some tobacco yeah. lingering. A little bit of tobacco there towards the end, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is usually one of my favorites of the antique collection. Um, just like that barrel proof weeder, you don't get to see it a lot. Yeah. And it's something I really enjoy. So, um, this one, uh, for me, it does meet expectations. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, you know, consistently, this is usually one of the top end products of the, of the collection here. Okay, well, we have one more to go George T. Stagg Bourbon Whiskey. These have come in quite a few variations of proof over the years. We've had some as low as in the 120s, some as high as in the 140s. This is a heavy beater, Jeff, this year. It is 15 years old and bottled at 144.1 proof. Personally, this is the highest proof of a bourbon that I've ever tasted, so yeah, it's, definitely excited. It's up there. Other than like 151 from Bacardi, there's right. very few things on the market this high in proof. So. All right, we're not going to try and light this on fire though. So. No, we we will avoid that. <laughs> All right, Jeff. So let's go ahead and jump into the nose. This one you don't want to take too big of a. All right. A pull on here. Yeah, this is just bold and heavy. You know, um, I've heard a few others say that this was kind of disappointing for them this year. This expression, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's just lots of dark chocolate, lots of chocolate going on, in both the nose and the palate. Very heavy, like a creamy vanilla yeah. as well on the nose. Yeah, 
even the nose just, just has a thickness to it. Yeah. With the fudge Absolutely. and the, the vanilla, very creamy. Well, let's go ahead and save the best one for last, I think. Cheers. Cheers. Take a taste. It's extremely chewy. Um, nice bit of heat up front that lingers. Um, dark chocolate right off the bat. Yeah, chocolate, fudgy. A little bit of, you know, some sort of some cherry, some red fruit in there. Definitely some red fruit. Um, some toffee as well, I think. A nice bit of oak as well. Mm -hmm. um, extremely long finish, you know. Just kind of lingers for a long time. Again, 144 proof, you're just getting that nice heat with a little subtle sweetness and that oak. It's really nice. My tongue's still like evaporating. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it sticks with you. Ooh. Yeah, this one will definitely do you in. Um, you know, George C. Stag, also kind of one of the more sought after in the group. Obviously, these are all extremely allocated and happy to get our hands on any one of these. But um, the George C. Stag and the Weller are usually the predominant favorites among the bourbon enthusiasts um, that, that I talk to. So, um, again, this one doesn't disappoint. No, no, it doesn't. Um, I do feel like the heat um, sort of detracts a little bit from all yeah. the different flavors you can pull out. I feel like other releases I've gotten a little bit more varied sure. uh, notes on it, whether that's the heat or whether it's just the release. Um, still, you know, very good product uh, I did this year, but definitely notice the heat a little bit more than other releases. Absolutely. And you know that we're doing a review of more or less first impressions. So we would imagine and hope that all of these open up to be even better, more complex whiskeys. But, you know, right off the bat, these are our initial thoughts. So um, I would agree, you know, it is extremely hot at 144 proof. Um, that may limit, you know, everything you can pull in flavor wise. Um, but, you know, certainly something that I would definitely try and um, seek out. Another solid, I think, uh, antique collection here from Buffalo Trace this year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think all of these um, are in the the very good to great range, um, depending on how they open up. Jeff, you know, let's do kind of like a quick wrap yeah. up. Um, initial impressions, thoughts. Let's go ahead and start with our ranking. I think we both agree here this year yeah. um, on our favorite. So Jeff, uh, let's start with the the fifth out of the, you know, our least favorite, I guess, out of this year's yeah. 2016 collection. I think, I think Eagle Rare is at the bottom of the pile this year. Uh, and quite honestly, I think that's sort of how we felt Sure. In the last couple of years. Um, it's just one of those, you know, one-dimensional type of whiskeys. When we did our comparison review for Eagle Rare 17 versus the Eagle Rare 10 year, um, I believe we gave the Eagle Rare 10 year a better score. I think we liked that more. So it's just one of those things. Yeah, I think I think it's just a little over, over oaked, yeah. over-aged, unfortunately. Um, you know, that does add a certain level of gravitas to it, being that it's 17-year old bourbon. There's not a lot of those out there, but... Uh, that does sort of limit the, the scope of the palette, I think. All right, Jeff, so our fourth uh, favorite whiskey. Number four this year, this is disappointing to me, is Thomas H. Handy Sazerac. Um, you know, 2012, I think, goes down as my favorite yep. whiskey ever. Agreed. Um, and the, the releases of the last several years have, have all been, uh, you know, very good products. I think this one's just, a, you know, maybe a step down sure. um, to what we're used to expecting from, from this release. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, Jeff, it'll open up because it is one of our favorites of the collection usually so yeah you know we'll, we'll see hopefully it does right so uh three on our list would be the sazerac uh, 18 year old you know it's a it's a nice burst of flavors initially but again it's just kind of that um, 90 proof rye whiskey yeah second jeff i think we both agree as well would have to go to well on the rue weller you know we do love the barrel proof weeders um, that sweet spice is just yeah. kind of hard to compare with your you know daily drinkers and jeff take it away we got the and last one here certainly last and definitely not least is the george t stag coming in at the top slot for the 2016 uh bourbon brothers rankings for the buffalo trace antique collection uh you know just a pack and a punch here with this bottle uh, no better way to put it uh you know bold flavors very fudgy chocolatey as you're used to expecting um Unfortunately, it sounds like this is going to be one of the uh, lower yes. um, yields of this year. The, a lot of evaporation with the, with the barrels they picked. So, if you see it, you better grab it. I think absolutely. You know, we've uh, really enjoyed doing this review for you. We hope you 
you know, get a lot out of it. And if you do get a chance to get one, we've, got, we've helped make your decision clear on which ones to grab, obviously. We'd be happy that with any one of these bottles. Sure. They're certainly, you know, delicious. So we've enjoyed the video. We hope you have too. If you liked it, you can give us a like, subscribe. We love to talk to you. Please leave us a comment. You can follow us both on Twitter at Bourbon Beer Reviews. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers.